Welcome back to the Racing Mind video series, where we journey deeper into the human mind than anyone has ever gone before. In this video series, we untangle the ancient mystery of mental illness and teach you what you need to know before your racing mind gets the best of you. This groundbreaking series provides answers to some of the deepest mysteries of the human mind and reveals, for the first time in history, the precise cause of mental and emotional illness and the psychophysiological basis of a wide range of psychiatric disorders and associated medical conditions. These educational videos, which present concepts that are so new that they are just beginning to make their way through the medical field, are based on thousands of hours of direct patient analysis and clinical observation in conjunction with the latest research on psychiatric disorders from around the world. In this segment of the series, we will discuss interpersonal relationships in relation to neuronal hyperexcitability. Nothing has greater potential to create emotional distress than strained relationships. That's because interpersonal conflict can create extremely powerful emotions, but with relatively little ability to control the way the other person is thinking and feeling. In addition, the stress has a powerful stimulating effect on the brain, which causes the neurological system to start ramping up. As this occurs, the related cognitive and emotional circuits reflexively overstimulate the mind. Consequently, emotional stress can create a vicious cycle of mutual overstimulation between the mind and the brain that can quickly ramp up like two people caught in an argument. Persons who are born with hyperexcitable neurons are particularly vulnerable to this because their neurological systems are inherently hyperexcitable. The abnormal amplification of thoughts and feelings can also cause the mind to have misperceptions about external events, including what the other person is saying or feeling. This adds even more fuel to the fire, and if the same process is occurring in the other person, even minor conflicts can rapidly escalate into verbal and physical violence. In addition to causing heightened emotionality, the combination of emotional stress and neuronal hyperexcitability can drive affected persons to use alcohol or other drugs, which can add even more fuel to the fire. In addition to emotional volatility, domestic violence, and substance abuse, neuronal hyperexcitability can cause chronic emotional tension and a wide range of psychiatric disorders. In an effort to relieve the emotional pain, an affected person may even become a danger to self or others. This may include involvement in illegal activities and other forms of immoral behavior, such as sexually aggressive or incestuous behavior. Clinical observations suggest that most cases of substance abuse, domestic violence, and incest are rooted in a neuronal hyperexcitability occurring in one or both of the parents. Because neuronal hyperexcitability is an inherited trait with an autosomal dominant mode of transmission, one or more of the children in such families are likely to be similarly affected, thus increasing the likelihood that they will learn to think and act like their parents. The paramount importance of neuronal hyperexcitability in comparison to environmental and other developmental factors is demonstrated by the observation that select children in such families grow up almost completely unaffected by the dysfunction in their households, while others develop the same dysfunctional characteristics as their parents even when raised by adoptive parents. Though it is commonly believed that emotional problems in adulthood are approximately 50% nature and 50% nurture, inheritance patterns clearly indicate that the genes for neuronal hyperexcitability are the chief determinant of a child's emotional and behavioral development. In recognition of this, sensitivity to the trait of neuronal hyperexcitability should be part of every biopsychosocial assessment and every legal investigation into domestic violence, substance abuse, and child abuse. Until the importance of neuronal hyperexcitability is recognized, rehabilitative efforts will continue to be undermined and affected persons will continue to be victimized by this common and highly treatable inherited trait. The most effective natural ways to compensate for the gene abnormality that underlies neuronal hyperexcitability include stress reduction, establishment of an early sleep schedule, regular exercise, enjoying a relaxing hobby, avoiding caffeine and other psychostimulants, and minimizing refined sugar. If these interventions are either too difficult to implement or fail to yield satisfactory improvement, 
then treatment with neuroregulators and other brain calming medications may be necessary, particularly during high stress periods in the person's life. In addition, cognitive behavioral and other forms of psychotherapy may be needed to reduce the mental tension that adds fuel to the smoldering ambers in the hyperexcitable brain. Control your brain, control your life. We hope that you are benefiting from this video series. Portions of this video and others in the series were taken from the books, The Racing Mind and Am I Depressed or Am I Bipolar? Those interested in developing a deeper understanding of this topic can also refer to the scientific publication, The Multi-Circuit Neuronal Hyperexcitability Hypothesis of Psychiatric Disorders. Please note that these materials in this video series are for educational purposes only and are not intended to guide treatment without formal evaluation. This video series is sponsored by the Binder Foundation, a charitable organization that is dedicated to the enhancement of human life through research and education on disorders of the mind, body, and spirit. If you have found this video to be a benefit to you, Please share it with your family and friends. And please don't forget, your feedback is important to us.